Hey guys, Coach Lou, and today I'm checking in to talk to you about why I take a holistic approach as a coach and what I mean by that. And basically the principles I stand by when I deliver the programs that I do and when I work with um, the ladies that I work with. Um, I've just sat down to enjoy a cup of, of uh, herbal tea, my new shiny cup, I love it. Um, and I thought, well, let's have a chat with, with my uh, followers while I'm here. So what do I mean by I take a holistic approach? What I mean by that is, as a coach, I've spent um, a long time developing different areas um, in my coaching, whether it be training, to nutrition, and to the mind. So I take an, an all-round approach, hence why I call it a holistic approach. And I'm very much a believer in the fact that the mind, the body, and what we put in our mouth, our nutrients, very much determine um, how we feel, how we look, our health, and they're all very much interlinked. And as a coach, um, sometimes I'm, I'm a super passionate coach. Anyone who works with me knows um, I'm super passionate about what I do because I genuinely believe in it. I believe in looking after your body for health, not just because you want to look like a supermodel, not just because you want to just drop a, a dress size, um, not just because all oh, working out's fun, but because you need to look after your health. And all three of these elements very much interlink. So if we start with your food. How does food interlink? Well, first of all, um, a clean, balanced diet is going to balance out your hormones. As a coach, I'm very um, one of the big areas I work on is hormone balancing with, with the food that I get my ladies to eat. Um, because a lot of um, processed foods have foreign chemicals which upset our natural hormones in our body. Um, I've done many videos on this in the past and how um, foreign estrogens can affect our body and how they can cause us to gain weight and also how they can get us stuck if we're trying to lose weight. Um, so these chemicals not only upset the balance of how we look physically, but they also offset the balance of how we feel mentally as well. So hopefully you're seeing how these connect. And this is one of the reasons why if you come to work with me and you don't want to work on your nutrition, I actually choose not to work with you because as a coach I feel that you really need to connect all three um, for the magic to happen. And especially if you're someone you know who already suffers from low mood and of course fixing your food isn't going to fix how you're feeling um, but it is going to change the mood slightly and it is going to help things because those processed foods, they've got those foreign chemicals, they upset the balance and therefore they make us feel low and I know myself um, and the last time I kind of um, really got an appreciation for this probably would have been last Christmas, Christmas of uh, what are we on, uh, 2016 and we had a couple of days where we had a cheat and very quickly I can feel my mood change and very quickly I can feel my energy change and you know wanting to lounge about and that is not me in the slightest and as soon as I feel like that I know and probably more so now because I've been through um, a depressive period in my life when I had PND that um, I recognise it really quickly now and you know straight away I get back onto that clean food so when people say oh you know I'm not into clean food I'm not into this you need to think about it in terms of the fact that it also affects how you feel up here and then it therefore affects your body as well. Um, so they're very much connected. So, you know, when you're looking at clean eating, don't just think about it in terms of, um, oh, I don't want to eat clean because I, I, um, you know, I want to have more have fun in my life. And well, do you know what? Probably if you eat clean, you probably could have more fun because your health's going to improve as well. And I get that some people think that's, you know, it's a really generalist view, um, but it's years and years of work. And I've got lots of friends in the industry um, who go by the same approach. And um, it's about looking after yourself. So your food's affecting up here. If, you, if you're eating rubbish, it's, it's going to affect how you feel. Um, and of course, if it's affecting your body, um, so health-wise it can affect you, we live in an, uh, an age now where we need to get a grip. We need to start looking after our bodies because we live in an age now where diseases and heart disease and, and um, obesity is at the, 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 the highest it's ever been because we've stopped caring about ourselves. We've started to look at what's more convenient. It's more convenient for me to have a pizza or a sandwich because it's quick. Instead of thinking about, well, actually, what are the ingredients in, in these uh, products that I'm eating? How are they affecting my body? So can you see how, hopefully you can see how it all links together. So as a coach, is why I, I add the components together. Now, training, um, I'm a total advocate for 
not sitting on the couch doing nothing and getting out and doing a walk or something that's active is always going to be more beneficial. But if I take someone on as a, as a client, the first thing I'm going to tell them is you need to change your diet because you can't out train a bad diet. So if you're training with me and um, you, you aren't doing your diet, as a coach, I'm doing you wrong because I know there's a better way that I can get you to from A to Z, from where you want to get to. And it's wrong of me to say, well, do you know what? You're telling me you're unhappy. You're telling me you don't, you, you, you know, you get dressed in the dark. You don't like your partner seeing you with no clothes on. But let's just train and just eat the same way that you always have. To me, that's really wrong of me when I have the knowledge base to say, well, do you know what? We need to change your diet so that it matches your training and you're going to get a far better result. But also, it's teaching you about a lifestyle and it's teaching you about how the human body should consume food and um, what we were actually designed for rather than um, going down this route of give the client what they want when actually what they want is, is their body to change. So hopefully you're with me here. Um, so you can see why I'm super passionate. All all three of these things link, and and because I work, um, I've worked in the psychotherapy side of things. Um, I I've worked in the nutritional side of things. I work in the the training side of things. I see daily how these things link, and the most amazing part of my job is I see when people just trust in me as a coach and change those things I've asked them to change, how different they become. And one of the favorite parts of my job is when my ladies come to me and say, do you know what, Louise, this has changed my life. I eat completely differently now. I look at foods completely differently now. I'm not treating myself as a human a waste bin. That to me is when I know I've done an amazing job and I know the client understands my way of working. So I get that for some of you, I'm probably gonna be the wrong coach for you um, because it's very much a package with me. These are the things we need to work on. Um, but I do that because, like I say, as a coach, if I've got all this knowledge, it's wrong of me to keep that from a client when I know that I can give that client better results and I can help that client feel better. And especially when I understand the mental side of it as well. Um, you know, telling the client that I'll just keep training you, keep eating the rubbish you're eating, even though you're really down about it, I know exactly how that all clicks together. So taking that holistic approach, I'm looking at your health. I'm looking at how nutritionally you are going to benefit in your body, in your skin, in your energy, in your hormones, which links to the body, it links to how you look and feel on the inside and the outside and um, it links to those energy levels. The, the whole thing comes together and um, so it's very much why I take a holistic approach. Hopefully this video has not got too confused, I've tried to keep it as simple as I can but like I say if you ever are looking to work with me I really am super passionate about what I do. When someone tells me they want something specific, especially when they tell me how bad they feel because I've been there myself, I'll say, right, I'm a bit like a dog with a bone now. You've told me this, now you're working with me. I'm not going to stop till I get you there. And, uh, you know, I'm sure pretty often my clients want to say, oh, Louise, just give me a break. Um, but if you pay me money, I'm going to make sure I get you what I promised you. And I can only do that by, by doing so in the way that I know best. And, um, and there are plenty of coaches out there who will happily take your money and happily um, train you the way you want, even though they know it's not going to get you the results you want or get you very little results and probably not going to make you feel much better. I just can't do that. I'm far too honest. Sometimes I wonder how I've got anywhere in business because I'm far too honest. Um, but I just believe in, um, I believe in what I do. Um, and that is creating a, a better world when it comes to uh, the human race and trying to teach people about looking after them. Because I say this time and time again, guys, you're in this body from the minute you enter to the minute you leave. And uh, it's a real shame that we have turned into a society where actually this thing that we should look after the most becomes um, the least important thing. Um, and you know what, if you've got kids, it should be even more important because those kids need you around. So hopefully you've got a bit of what I'm saying, why I take a holistic approach. The mind, the body and what you put in your mouth very much interlink. Get your diet sorted out, balance out your hormones, get everything working the way it should, match it with an amazing training plan, get into a cycle, get into a routine and everything's going to feel much better and you will get the gains in your body that you want. And like I say, those energy levels and those feelings that sometimes come when your energy drop will also rise as well. But it's very much like a marriage, guys. Um, you can't cheat in it and expect it to work. The whole 
concept has got to all uh, all got to work together as one. Hopefully this has helped you a little bit in gaining a little bit about me as a coach and why I'm so passionate and catch you all later. Coach Lou.